Hello, viewers. My name is Saleh Jalo. Um, I'm the CEO of Jalo Plastic Mechanic Workshop. I'm um, working fiberglass, panel bitting. I do panel bitting. I do painting. I build water tanks. I build swimming pool and repairing bumpers. Um, I started this since I was a small boy. In 1990, I started training of fiberglass in Bakao New Town, where I started training. And my uncle, they call him Jalo Plastic. He's the one who first brought this in this country. I start for myself about eight years back. Um, I'm having about 15 people. Some people are going to school. After school, they will come here. I have some people, uh, I have employed them. But the capital is 15 people. The service which I do, I build water tanks. And I start this project last year. Now I am doing this water tanks and I give you 10 years guarantee for the water tanks and I build swim pool also with fiber swim pool yeah that one I started for a long time ago not now still now I'm on it yeah the product which I use I use fiberglass mat and I use resin polyester and I use resin and I use zeal coat too and the hardener and cobalt I have a lot of customers and I satisfy them and actually I never have a customer who, who complain on me, my work is not good. I am not perfect 100% but always I used to try to satisfy my customer 100% and they are very happy with me. I am very open with people, um, I am welcoming everybody. If anybody wants to come to share with me my, my knowledge, you are highly welcome. If you try your level best, you can make it here. Because since I was very young, I don't blame some of people, but I can tell them because I was like them. The whole, the whole time I want to travel. I want to travel, I want to travel. So I just said, I said, look, I think so I can make it in Gambia. Because the knowledge which I have, if I try a little bit, I will go. So what I'm telling these Gambian people, the young people, let them try to have skills is very important. It is not about fiber, mechanic, machinery. There is a lot of things, but you know, if you have the skills, you can go without going back with. Um, from now where I am, I can say Alhamdulillah, because I am doing a lot of things like mobilizing people to come and I train them and I show them what I am doing in this country about this fiber. It will take them level with you know, they will not go to Europe to go and hustle. Because I at least now where I am was and now where I am, that's a different. I was having a small thing, trying from there, little, little, little things. So now I think so you have seen my place where I am now. And still now I'm trying to have bigger than this one. Because what I'm thinking, the knowledge that I have, this place even is very small. Because even I want to start off even making fishing boats. Because I have the knowledge, I can do it. But the place which I have right now, is very small, I cannot do it here. That's why I will just start to build this for a time. The companies are coming because they know my service, they have seen my service, what I'm doing. Still now, even the government, some of them, they are coming. The departments, they are coming. Yeah. Because I'm working with them still now. Even right now where I am, I show you one car inside here. It's from the government. If you want to read me right now, you, I'm in Bakau New Town, opposite Seoul Samba Street. 30 meters from the road, you will see my gate, red gate, from your um, at your left hand side. And from there, you can. My number is 777 2510. 
and 9908561 uh, 3908561 that's my number you can contact me on that please come and visit Jala Plastic Mechanic Workshop um, you will happy and you will have good service and you will never ever regret our service hello everybody my name is Birgitta Glantz I live in, in Sweden and I'm here in Gambia for my eight times. Gambia is a beautiful country and with different things that I really care about is to help the Gambian people in different way that I can. Back in Sweden, I have a charity shop. It's a family relative uh, thing where everybody can get to me and I sell it for them. And all the advantage is going back to Africa in one way or another. I'm a big supporter of the organization that is Swedish. And the organization's name is She Gambas. Children in Gambia, Basse. And in Basse, they have like three different schools. And even if they are for the new beginners, they buy places in other schools when the kids are showing I want something, I want to learn more. So they buying four places for different. And we are supporting three disabled kids. They can't speak for the moment, but we have seen in just one year how they have come further and can even uh, talk some words. And everybody should have the place and the possibilities to go to school. And especially girls. You know, I'm a girl, I'm a woman, and I support girls. They are much stronger. They have another kind of interesting, but of course it's 50-50 in this school in Basse. So 50% girls, 50% boys. They have been working in the organization for 27 years. They come here regularly to follow up the economical thing and how the teacher are doing, how they, they develop kids. And the teacher in Shigambas is former pupils from the school. So it's a win-win situation. And if you can read, write and count, you are very close to get the work. And in Gambia, when it comes to work, I also feel a lot for entrepreneurs that shows a willingness and have a vision to go further. And you saw just uh, this yellow plastic and it is one of these uh, entrepreneurs that I really feel much for. Um, we try to help them here and there, but mostly is the children we care for. And uh, there are lots of Swedish people that have started small business down here in, uh, in Gambia too. So uh, I will just wish everybody the possibilities to make something out of your life. It's only up here. You can do it too.